Countdown for blast off. X minus five, four, three, two, X minus one, fire. From the far horizons of the unknown come transcribed tales of new dimensions in time and space. These are stories of the future, adventures in which you'll live in a million could-be years on a thousand maybe worlds. The National Broadcasting Company, in cooperation with Street and Smith, publishers of Astounding Science Fiction, presents... X minus one... Tonight's story, The Castaways, by Ernest Kinoy. In the South Pacific, night comes on rapidly. The sun dips below the flat horizon, the sea is crimson for a moment, and then night falls. But on Tahani Atoll, giant arc lights turn night into day. Across the waters of the lagoon, within the barrier reef, launches and tugs skitter back and forth, while on the curving half-moon of the island, army trucks and jeeps scuttle down the rough roads bulldozed by the Seabees just six weeks ago. A low Quonset hut stands near the beach, surrounded by tangled wire. This is the preliminary command post, and inside is General Frank Gadosh, field director of the test. Operation Destruction. Everything's on schedule, General. Radiological surveys complete. Instruments placement checked. Well, get me Navy and tell them each hour is as ordered. Send a periodic time check to Air Force on 90-week talk. An observation control on the Missouri. Yes, sir. I want a complete roster check on all personnel before each hour. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, Nate Cohen wants to see you. Well, who the devil's he? AP man. He's been selected by the press radio pool to interview I haven't got any time. Tell him to speak to Major Dwight Breedenberg. He's the PRO. I think perhaps you'd better see him, sir. The, uh, the directive on public relations from Washington was very clear. Well, how in places am I supposed to run a bomb test and play mother hand to a bunch of reporters? Washington said... That... All right, all right. Bring him in. Borelli? Yes, sir. Give me some black coffee, will you? Yes, sir. Uh, this is Mr. Cohen, uh, General Gator. How do you do, General? Lousy, as a matter of fact. Is that an official statement? No. You can run some of that. The world is at the crossroads, Baloney. I wrote that yesterday. General, what effect do you think the new bomb will have on the world situation? I can't tell you that, even if I knew. My job is to set the blasted thing off and see that nobody gets hurt and collect the data. Can I speak to you a moment, sir? Later, Alan. Go ahead, Cohen. Can you release anything on the scientific principles involved? I don't even understand it myself. There... Wait a minute. Dr. Muller? Yes? Come over here a minute, will you? Cohen, this is Dr. Fred Muller, civilian scientific director. He's the only one who knows what's inside that warhead. How do you do, Mr. Cohen? How about a statement, Doctor? Oh, I'm afraid all I'm allowed to say is that the bomb is new, it's extremely powerful, and off the record, it's very tricky and dangerous. What'll happen if it goes off prematurely? I don't think we have to worry about that. In fact, we wouldn't even know about it. If you'll excuse me. How about the natives? Well, what about them? Aren't they going to be evacuated from the island? They already have been. General Gator. Oh, I, I saw the Tahani chief outside when I came in. The whole tribe squatting down at the motor pool, having a conference. What? Alan! I've been trying to tell you, sir. The, uh, the Tahani are still on the island. Well, why? The LCTs are ready, aren't they? Yes, sir, but uh, they won't go. They refuse. The schedule called for their evacuation to Mailani three hours ago. I realize that, sir, but I hoped we could still get them off without vile. Look, Alan, they're either on the island or off. Now, wait a minute. Cohen, that's all. What are you going to do about the natives, General? Never mind. I'll issue a statement later. You're going to force them? Go on. Get out. I haven't got time. All right, General. Thanks. Thanks a lot. All right, Alan. Let's have it. Well, sir, the Tahani have been kicking up all along. They won't leave. They won't? Do they know what's going to happen to the island? Do they know that we're going to blow it higher than the kites? I told the chief. He he just said they won't go. They'll go, all right, if I have to... Yeah, hey, get him in here. The chief? Yeah, and that, that lieutenant who interprets. Yes, sir. How do you like that, Dr. Muller? I haven't got enough trouble. You know, I feel rather sorry for the Tahani. Can't make much sense to them. 
We arrive and tell them they've got to get out. Look, I appreciate your finer feelings, Muller, but I can't let the Kanakas hold up the bomb test. They're not Kanakas, General. Captain Cook discovered the island in 1788. Well, what's the difference? Lieutenant Gilbert reporting, sir. Aloha, Kalahiri Metuakunano. Hey, look, I haven't got time for ceremony, Gilbert. Tell the chief he and his tribe have got to get off the island. We're providing homes for them on Mailani. Translate, Gilbert. The chief says you do not understand. Mailani is a bad island. My people have lived on Tahani from the time that our ancestors were cast away on the island. The spirits of our ancestors are buried in the earth. Our fathers are buried here. Our fathers' fathers. If he thinks I'm going to move his graveyard, he's crazy. In our ancestors' time, the Tahani came in a great bird canoe. We were cast away on this island. We have made it our home. What right have you now to carry us over the sea to a strange land where we would die weeping for our homes? We will not go. By the waters of Babylon, there we sat down and we wept when we remembered Zion. Well, thank you, Dr. Muller. You're a great help. Say, Gilbert. Yes, sir. Tell him I have no choice. He's got till midnight to get his tribe on board those LCTs peacefully, or I'll have the Marine Detachment carry him aboard. Yes, sir. Isn't that rather harsh, General? After all, justice is on their side. We're preparing to blow up their island, and we haven't asked them about it. Dr. Muller, will you kindly confine yourself to the scientific aspects of this operation? I'll take care of administrative matters. If you could explain to them what's at stake here. Any further explaining I've got to do, I'll do with the Marine detachments. I'm not going to hold up my schedule. Well, Gilbert? I, I told him, sir. All right, get him out of here. I've had enough. Oh, no, no, Koala. What the devil's that? Some kind of a curse, sir. I can catch some of it. The island will remember the tears of its children and punish the invaders. The great destroyers will not destroy. And the evil man who is the chief will travel far through the blackness of night. Even as the children of the island end, so will he. All right, Gilbert, take him away. You in here, sir. You in here. Colonel Allen. Get a detail from the Marine Detachment with tear gas and small arms down to the motor pool. And in one hour, have those natives on that transport, and I don't care how they do it. Is that my coffee, Varelli? Yes, sir. They must know about the bomb. The great destroyer will not destroy. You worried about that curse? I should think you might be. He threatened you personally. If I were you, I'd carry a pistol till they got off the island. The chief looked as if he'd cheerfully strangle you with his bare hands. I'm supposed to end the way they do. Huh? What's that? Probably the Tahani saying goodbye to their island. I think I'll go down to the motor pool. Well, stay out of the way. And get back here in an hour. We've got to have this wrapped up and headquarters moved out to the Missouri by dawn. <laughs> Instrument room checking in, sir. That's the last. Have the Missouri take over control and send for my jeep. Yes, sir. Are the LCTs standing by for those natives? Yes, sir. They're on the beach. The bomb unit is assembled in place, General. 2330, right on the nose. Robin, start evacuation procedure. The Tahani, you've stopped. Allen's probably moving them out to the beach. Check in with Navy and Air Force, Borelli. Yes, sir. What's that? Coming from the beach. The Tahani making trouble. Come on. General. Hey, yo, Gilbert, what is it? Colonel Allen ordered the Marines. Well, here. what happened? The natives just got up and started marching. Did they embark? You don't understand, sir. They marched up the cliff and right off into the lagoon. What? All of them. The women and the kids, too. They didn't even try to swim. What were you doing all this time? Just standing around with your thumb in your mouth? Where was the Marine detachment? We couldn't stop them, sir. They just walked over the cliff. They didn't even scream. Not even the kids. We sent the crash boats out, but we couldn't get them, any of them. The crazy idiots. Were there any reporters there? Well, Cohen and a life photographer. Well, get his film and hold it till I release it. What are you going to do, General? Postpone H hour? It's too late for that now. And calling H hour off isn't going to bring the natives back. But 100 men, women, and children just walking into the water. It's, it's horrible. I know. I'm not happy about it either. There's nothing we can do now. I gave him a chance to get off. I was just thinking about the curse the chief put on you. Even as the children of the island end, so will he... That's what he said to you, General. I know, I heard him. Your jeep's waiting, General. The great destroyer will not destroy. That must mean the bomb. Don't worry, Dr. Muller. It'll take more than a mumbo-jumbo curse from a native witch doctor to stop this operation. At each hour, that bomb goes off. It 
is now h hour minus one minute thirty seconds. H minus one thirty. Video screen's hooked in, sir. All right, check control stations. Observation station one. Observation station one, check. Radiation station. Radiation control, check. Test the firing Observation circuit, Dr. Two. Muller. All right, General. Two, check. Damage control station. Damage control, check. All set. Communications. Communications, check. All checked in, sir. It is H minus one minute. H minus one. Take a good look at that island on that screen, Dr. Muller. When you throw that key, it just won't be there anymore. Nothing but an atom mushroom over the lagoon. Quite a funeral pyre for the Tahani. Stubborn idiots. They can't get in the way of progress. Progress? I wonder if it is, General. It is H minus 30 seconds. H hour minus 29, 28, 27, 20. The Great Destroyer. That's what he called the bomb. Hold it, Muller. Allen, report. All checked in, sir. Camera's running. Sound fire warning. Stand by for firing. Ready, Muller? Ready. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fire! General, it didn't go off. The bomb didn't go off. Borelli, signal standby, condition red. Yes, sir. Allen, check readings. Muller, what's wrong? What happened? I don't know. The bomb didn't go off. Well, what do you mean? Why didn't it? I don't know, except for one thing. The Tahani chief said the great destroyer would not destroy. It didn't, General. The bomb didn't go off. How about it, General? What happened? Have you got a statement? Nothing you can use, Cohen. Not till we find out what went wrong. Hey, who let you come aboard this ship? I walked on. You don't know why the bomb failed? It didn't fail. It just didn't go off. What's that tank thing on the deck, General? Undersea salvage unit, Mark IV. They call it a bottom crawler. Somebody going down? Well, that bomb is down there in the lagoon somewhere. Could go off at any second. Somebody's got to go down and find it and disarm it. That's a lovely job. Who's elected? I am. Wow. And Dr. Muller. He's the only one who knows how to dismantle it. All is ready, General. All right. Come on, Muller. I'm ready. Alan, as soon as we hit shallow water, get those gates open. We'll pull the crawler out. And then you get away in a hurry. If that bomb goes while we're working on it, I don't want any casualties. Yes, sir. Inside, Muller. All right. I'm in. Now, remember, get this LST out of the lagoon in a hurry. You got that, Alan? You take your orders from Admiral Yancey. Yes, sir. Good luck. Closing the hatch. The radar and Geiger counter warmed up, Muller. I was just thinking of something, General. That curse, part of it came true. The bomb didn't go off. Well? The second part of that curse was that you would end where they ended. That was at the bottom of the lagoon. What are you trying to do, Muller? Nothing. I was just thinking this crawler is going to take us right down there where the Tahani died. I'm not worried about a handful of dead natives, Muller. I'm worried about that bomb. Okay, they're opening the gate. Let's go. USU-4 to control. Depth 50 feet, bottom sandy, dropping off sharp. Anything on sonar, Muller? School of fish. <laughs> you ever been down in a crawler before? Only in the tank at New London. I think I've got a Geiger reading dead ahead. Hang on, getting something on sonar now. Left to point. USU-4 to control. Over. USU-4 to control. Over. Fine note, the radio's out. Dead ahead. Looks too large to be the bomb. Can't see much on the forward vision plate. Hey, wait a minute. That's part of the reef ahead. That's where the guy in the reading indicated. The bomb must have settled in a hole in the reef. We'll have to go after it in diving suits. The suits are in the locker. Let's get this over with. The less time I spend down here waiting for that bomb to blow, the better I like it. <laughs> Mark 
Muller, is your helmet clamped tight? You getting me all right on your headset? Okay. I'm going to fill the lock. Here goes the outer door. Let's go. This isn't like that diving tank in New London. Look out for that coral. It can cut you to ribbons. There's a hole of some sort there. Wait till I get the light up. See if you can get a Geiger reading out of that hole. Just a... There. It's down there, all right. Careful. I'll drop down first. <laughs> See anything down there? Muller, get down here fast. What is it? Find something? The bottom of this hole. It's it's metal and the sides. But, but it's the coral reef. Look, welded joints. These are hull plates of some kind. And... Look out, above us. It's closing. Grab it. Too late. A metal hatch. It just slid over the top. This is impossible. What's going on? It's like an airlock. The water's being pumped out. General, do you realize what this means? I'm not sure. There's an inner door opening. Careful. It's a passageway. What do we do now? There isn't much we can do. We can take off our helmets, though. The dial shows good air. <clears throat> All right. Come on. What is this? An undersea fort? What's it doing here? What does it mean? Whatever it is, our bomb must be down here. Wait. There's someone there. I, I can't see. There's, there's a shadow. Who is it? Who's there? Welcome, Dr. Muller. Welcome to our ship. We've been waiting for you. General, it can't be. Do you see it? It's the Tahani chief. How long has the bottom crawler been down, Borelli? Four hours, sir. Two since we lost contact. Now, keep trying. Yes, sir. Control I've given him enough time. I'm going to send another crawler down. What do you figure happened to him, Colonel? Well, there are a lot of things. Hey, how did you get in here? I walked in. When are you going to release this, Colonel? It's the biggest story since the election. Bomber dead and Dr. Muller and General Gaydash dead. They're not dead. At least we don't know they are. As long as that bomb doesn't go off, there's still a chance. That... What happened? Come on. Early, condition red. Gilbert, radiation control into action. Get the hot squad into Tahani Lagoon as soon as it's cleared. And get me a PT boat with radiation screen. What is it, Colonel? What happened? The bomb must have blown. How about Muller and the general? If they were down there in that lagoon, you guess. Now get out of my way. I'm busy. Radiation reading, 75 and steady. Take her in as close to the beach as you can. Steady as she goes. Is there any danger of any more explosions? No. When she goes, she goes. Radiation 82. That's still safe. Cohen, is that something on the beach? Yeah. Looks like a body. Maybe you blew one of the Tahani back out of the lagoon. No, no. It's moving. Gilbert, glasses. Yes, sir. It's a man, all right. Head into the beach. Who is it, Colonel? Can't tell. He's in a diving suit. It's either Muller or General Gaydosh. Get his helmet off. Easy now. Twist to the right. There. It, it's Muller. Uh, Gilbert, help me get him out of this diving suit. We've got to get him to the medics. Uh, no radiation burns. Superficial bruises, mild shock. He'll be all right, Colonel. Can he talk? For a while. Uh, bomb go off. It didn't. He's still out of his head. Quiet, Cohen. Go on, Dr. Muller. What did you find? A ship. A giant metal ship there under the lagoon. A submarine? No, no. It was a spaceship. Spaceship? Space? Camouflaged right next to the reef. When, when we went inside, we found the Tahani chief and all the tribe. Alive. What? Well, they drowned in the lagoon. I saw them. No, they didn't commit suicide as we thought. They just dived underwater into the rocket airlock. Rocket? Airlocks? Now, look, Muller, I know you've suffered the shock, but... But it's true. It can't be. 
spaceship built by Polynesian savages. But they're not savages. They're the castaways. They're from another planet. Don't you understand? Their spaceship was wrecked here 400 years ago. They've been waiting ever since for a chance to go home. He's out of his mind. Better give him a sedative, Doctor. No, 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 wait a minute, Colonel. Remember their story about the great bird canoe? Maybe there's something to the legend. Not the legend, it's true. They'd exhausted their fuel, came down out of space, couldn't find anything here on Earth to replace their fuel source until we developed atomic power. Atomic power? You mean they stole our bomb? That's right. Fished it out of the lagoon, hauled it aboard. Yes, but how could they convert it to atomic drive? They made me dismantle it for them at the point of a gun. Then just before they blasted off, they let me go. But what about the general? Remember the Tahani curse? I see. You mean they killed him? You don't understand. I said I dismantled that bomb at the point of a gun. It was General Gaydash who was holding the gun. What? He was one of them, one of their spies, sent out to bring back the rocket fuel they needed. And the Tahani curse wasn't a curse at all. It said that when they left the island, so would he. I mean, he's with them now. Yes. And after 400 years, the castaways are going home. You have just heard X-1, presented by the National Broadcasting Company, in cooperation with Street and Smith, publishers of astounding science fiction. Your announcer, Fred Collins. X-1 was an NBC Radio Network production. <laughs>